18 teens are participating in a special summer camp hosted by the Cape Fear Citizen Emergency Response Team, also known as CERT. The week-long CERT Academy was held at Fire Station 14 for teens in high school. The goal of the camp is to not only introduce participants to a career as a firefighter, police officer, or EMT, but also give them the hands-on training and be able to help out in disaster on a CERT team. CERT teams are members of the community trained in disaster response and assist public safety departments in times of disasters such as hurricanes. This is the second year for the Cape Fear CERT Academy. Based on the popularity of the camp last summer, the camp will have two sessions this summer. The second session will be held at the end of July. If you know of a teen interested in participating in the Cape Fear CERT Academy, send an email to capefearcert at gmail.com. While firefighters are always ready to quickly respond to a fire at a moment's notice, they prefer to keep the fire from beginning in the first place. Recently, as part of their ongoing efforts to educate the community, firefighters with the Fable Fire Department spent a day canvassing neighborhoods that have had a high number of structure fires and offered free smoke alarm installations for the residents. Firefighters would also like to remind you to stand by your pan when cooking. Always be attentive while cooking a meal, whether it be indoors or outdoors. Avoid distractions like a phone or television that can take your attention away from the stove. For more safety advice, be sure to follow the Fable Fire Department on Facebook. The Fable Police Department supports the Special Olympics of North Carolina with various fundraisers throughout the year, and it culminates with the iconic Law Enforcement Torch Run. Throughout the year, police officers volunteer to raise funds with events like a golf tournament. There's also the Cop on Top event where police officers will climb up on the roof of the building of a fast food restaurant as a bucket is passed around for donations and they won't come down until they met their fundraising goal. There's Tip a Cop where officers serve as waiters. And there's Cover the Cruiser where donations go towards covering a police cruiser in pledges from the community. And then there's the Polar Plunge where officers and special guests take donations in order to get them to take the plunge in the pool during the winter time. And finally, there's a law enforcement torch run that helps to deliver the torch to Raleigh in time for the state games that are held during the first part of June. This year, the Fayetteville Police Department hosted a 5K walk and run through downtown Fayetteville for the public to participate in as the law enforcement torch run delivered the flame to its final destination. Last year, the department raised over $43,000 for the Special Olympics of North Carolina and is aiming to make it into the top five for fundraising this year. And currently, they're in sixth place. The Fable Police Department is now a certified autism center after police officers underwent training and certification from the International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards. The goal of the certification is to enhance officer and staff knowledge and provide skills to assist the autistic community or those with other sensory needs. In May, the Fable Area System of Transit honored employees with a FAST Employee Appreciation Event at the Bordeaux Convention Center. The annual event recognizes excellence of not only the drivers, but all staff who keep FAST running on time and like a well-oiled machine. Finally, staff honored Randy Hume, the FAST Transit Director, as he retires this summer after serving as a FAST Transit Director since 2011. Mr. Hume oversaw dramatic growth and change at FAST and help steer the department through a challenging period during the COVID pandemic. Pools and splash pads are open for business, helping keep the community cooled off as temperatures begin to rise. You don't have to travel far to reach one of the four pools and 11 splash pads as they are located throughout Fayetteville. A 12th splash pad is nearing completion and will be opening soon at the Lake Rim Recreation Center on the west side of the city. Visit www.fcpr.us slash aquatics to learn more about all the pools and splash pads. To help meet the demand for certified lifeguards, Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation started hiring and training of lifeguards long before the swim season opened. Over half of our staff is brand spanking new. This is their first job for a lot of them. They're newly certified lifeguards. And you know, we're still having the issue of getting enough people to work. So I think it's really important to appreciate, you know, these kids coming out and working in their communities. We are so lucky to have so many kids want to work for the summer and keep the pools open for us. We, like I said, we are so lucky to have the number that we do, but we're still actively hiring. The lifeguard and lifeguard positions are still available. Visit fableNC.gov jobs to apply for a position. Additional lifeguards who are hired during the summer will complete an orientation at their assigned job site.